Weak Constitution, Common Cat. Chapter 1. Off to Market. Hey, Kara! Shauna's voice pierces my thoughts as I go through the syllabus list again, sorting books and journals for the new year. We are supposed to be doing this work together, but it's mostly just me checking over both our supplies while Shauna practices wand tricks on my bed. Will you come with me to the cages today? I need a replacement for my Zenzi cub. Now that is startling. How were you able to kill off your Zenzi cub before class even started? They're one of the most durable breeds of familiar out there. I can't help but let some frustration drain into that comment. She knows that we need a familiar for class this year. It is one of the basic essentials, something I have been putting off, unable to find time to cross it off my list. This isn't like the semi-optional list with all the ridiculously obscure herb and berry components for extra credit in potions that I got months back. This matters. This is important. A whole class rests on this, and a couple others are tangentially dependent. It's hard, Shauna whines back at me, oblivious to any tension. I got one with a bad temperament. It wouldn't work with me. She bats her lashes innocently. We've been friends for almost two whole years, and we are more than used to each other's attitudes. She means nothing by it, and she knows that I am unaffected by her usually fatal puppy eyes. Really? I give her an incredulous stare. Even the shop lady at the cages told me how much work and experience you need to take care of any kind of familiar. It's expected that your first few won't make it while you're getting the experience. She rushes to defend herself. She isn't in the wrong, but I've been cleaning up her messes enough times to be skeptical that she wants to seem independent and capable of this. Still, after three? Shauna, I'm starting to get worried. Classes start in a month and we need a familiar to pass the year. Shauna's blasé attitude never really bothered me before. In fact, it really helps when we need to shuck some unneeded stress from our lives. But as we are about to start our first year at Magic's Academia, we'll need to go through classes on familiars and their roles in spellcasting. I already know the statistics on their lifespans. Magic is draining and degenerative to a conduit, and as such to a familiar's health. As a result, many that make it to the ages where they are useful to mages only live about three or four years after their regularized use with one master while being taken care of properly. Sometimes they're passed around, put into holding pens, or put to use for another purpose, and they'll live longer. But this is just the way that things are done. No one can argue with the stellar results of using familiars in casting. I really hadn't let this issue bother me, but with the years so close, I'm not able to put it out of my mind. It's a daily piece of life for the wizarding community. You know, Kara, you talk an awful lot for someone who's never even had a pet. She lets herself move closer to me, eyes twinkling as they always do when she has a plan. Shauna, you know I don't like that look. I mean, she continues, cutting me off, you haven't ever had to care for one of these little pets. Big, strong guy like you doesn't know how hard it is. In fact, I bet. You can't care for a weak-mannered one for the week or so it will take for classes to start. Oh, so that's where this is going. We always take out friendly little bets with each other. There isn't really a reward or punishment in the end, mostly just bragging rights, but that's always enough for us. All right, we'll go to the cages district together. But you are picking. I still have no clue how most of this stuff works out in practical terms. A smirk passes over her lips. But of course. 